Well, hello there, everyone. Here to show you right here is the President's Day 2020 uh, activity right here, and basically talks about the you know for the year 2020, and uh, you know two years or so you know from now, and uh, be around election time, and uh, you're talking about you know, for the follow up you know from President's Day uh, 2018, and um, and yeah that uh, you're based on for what President Trump was you know talking about, and. Uh, but, you know, still, that looking back at, you know, the past, you know, history of these presidents. And uh, I have right here is Ronald Reagan and uh, President Reagan. And I was thought, you know, if anybody were warned to worry, you know, yeah, that, you know, were you thinking about maybe at some point uh, if you want to go ahead and, uh, and do one, do a, a painting on Jimmy Carter, you know, President Jimmy Carter. And, uh, and at the time that we were, too, that, that you know, any, uh, paintings that uh, you know anything that i'm able to uh, to work with and uh just they can necessarily to to work that that whenever i'm working with uh you know a certain um president that um that i'm also thinking is to work to go ahead and and work one on uh you know i worked uh you know, yeah that uh you know i worked a couple of them on uh, barack obama and uh i uh have uh you know worked one on bill clinton but you know if anybody is waiting uh, from you know to see some uh Maybe some work in the results, you know, for Jimmy Carter. And uh, so, yeah, that you're thinking the necessary to worry about these presidents, though. Whenever you have a, a president, it's going to come on TV. And uh, and I can remember that, you know, yeah. But you have right here is for uh, Ronald Reagan right here. And then you have right here is example right here of, like, if I was going to be in you know, on the, the television set watching the president's speech. And uh, and talking about that for anything uh, that is related to... Um, you know, yeah, that, um, you know, and anything uh, that is uh, basically uh, related to uh, watching the president on TV. And uh, if anybody wanted to worry, yeah, you're watching the president on TV. Uh, and even though if he's going to be interrupting you know, your favorite TV show, just to uh, make a speech about something. And I know that, uh, you know, yeah, that uh, how many of us uh, would have uh, the local stations to where that uh, whenever you're going to be watching a certain program and then, uh, you know, there's an interruption, you know, the president's going to be on TV, you know, talking about something. And and I know that, um, you know, like nowadays, that um, that with a lot of TV programs, that um, if you're watching something and then uh, and then it's like interrupted, but um, but still nowadays, it's, you know, since you can stream a lot of videos and uh and movies, uh, you know, even from a, from a mobile phone, that uh, you would have that option to where you can uh, watch uh, TVs and TV programs and documentaries by streaming videos. But uh, but talk about with the president, though. A lot of things that I have seen, I, I use this right here as an example right here of a president. But a lot of the times, what I see from these presidents, though, is that yeah, that that a lot of times it seems like that they're always talking about that. Uh, past presidents that uh the the presidents that uh, for whenever that they were in office that the promises that they they met and then you know the, the work that still needed to be done and sometimes it seems like you know yeah that whenever you hear about between the democrat and republican parties because back whenever i was very young that you know that a lot of it it seemed like they didn't really make any sense and i know i had government class back whenever i was younger but uh, just thinking necessarily to her that okay, you know, government class. That's basically a class that you take it for that um, relate to the study understanding about the uh, the three basic rights. And I'm sure that uh, if anybody here can remember that uh, that they had it in high school or maybe part of middle school. But back whenever I was uh, you know, too young, you know, whenever I was not even old enough to vote, and so if anybody were to ask me that those couple years ago, that, uh, you know, oh, if you're not a registered voter, well, then what's taking you so long? <laughs> but I'm like, really, that, um, so yeah, they, how many of us uh, have had that to where that uh, somebody's going to ask a question, and sometimes it's like, you know, it really don't really make any sense unless if you ask, unless if, unless if you ask that question, somebody's got some kids going maybe we ask you. It's like, are you registered voter yet? Like, a no, I'm not old enough. Or you know, yeah, that. Uh, but let's just say if you move from uh, from another state, and then uh, chances are that you got to wait a while to you know just to be registered. But um, you know, how many kids that may want to where how come purple is not in the American flag? <laughs> Yeah, you got the red, white, and blue, but you just don't have your know, purple. And um, yeah, your know, purple, I can. 
Yeah, I can go ahead and color it in right there. It's a little bit like, you know, purple carpet. <laughs> purple carpeting right there. If I were to be sitting in front of the tel television set right there. Yeah, purple carpeting. <laughs> so if anybody were wanted to wear, yeah, purple, you know. Yeah, purple is in the, the rainbow, but how come it's not on the American flag? <laughs> Well, you know, you see that in the sky, don't you? Like, I know, well... Well, you know, American flag, I guess that's not really made out of rain, is it? Yeah, you know, that's really uh, made out of, uh, if you want to call it like, uh, you know, it's made out of, uh, you would say, 100% cotton, or it is, but, you know, still. <laughs> so, yeah, I got right here is the president, President Trump, and, um... But, but still, that, that, uh, so blue raw, blue eyes right there, but... But anyway, um... But talking about, you know, for being a registered voter, though, uh, that um, back when I was young, that uh, if anybody say that, you know, what presidents do you remember appearing on TV besides, uh, you, you see those uh, on, on the websites that uh, you, you see that, that you're from uh, President Kennedy and then you also have... Uh, you know, uh, Richard, I guess Richard Nixon, and, and sometimes, though, that, that you're around President's Day, that I do one or two, uh, that some of these presidents, that you've heard about maybe two of them that only uh, were, ran for one term, they, you know, they only, uh, they were only in office for one term, and sometimes it's somebody that may ask about that as to where that, that, that they lost the election by so many, you know, so many, uh, you say, you know, delicate, I guess if you want to call it that, so many votes, uh, you know, to have it between the Democrat and Republican parties. But I remember that, uh, you know, I, whenever I was in government class, that I didn't really, uh, you know, read too much about between the, the Democrats and Republicans. So it sounded like to me uh, just a little bit like, uh, you know, uh, yeah, that whenever you're, if you're going to be a registered voter going out to go vote on President's Day, uh, that uh, you're going to be voting for the Democratic uh, Party, and then uh, you know if it's a Libertarian Party or any party like that, and uh, thinking necessarily to her that you know yeah that nobody can really put words in your mouth saying that whenever you go out and vote, that's supposed to be uh, your opportunity to go out and vote. So just thinking about this, uh, you know, I'm not trying to draw a mustache right there. I'm actually trying to draw you know, the lips right there. So if anybody say you have know, you know, President Trump don't really have any have a mustache, but but you have right there trying to draw some more of a of the drawing right there. But uh, but you have right here for President uh, President's Day of 2020 by year 2020. So just think about that with Ronald Reagan right there. That you have these presidents right here, and um, and uh, you have uh, talking about uh, like uh, from back on the last post, knowing about who was going to be elected. Uh, you know, for the 45th president. And, uh, and just one or two that, um, with these presidents, though, that, um, if it was maybe part of my class assignment, if anybody would say that, you know, yeah, if you got a test the next morning, then uh, they would, you know, anybody would suggest that, uh, they don't stay up late, because at the time, I'm like one or two, that, that the president is going to give a state of union address, and, and let's just say, if it don't come on until about, you know, eight, nine o'clock, or so at night, and uh, just thinking if you got a test the next morning, that, uh, you know, yeah, but still, that with these uh, present speeches, though, that uh, maybe that uh, they were not able to, to talk about everything, or maybe, you know, mention a, a few other things as well, but but let's just say if the case was as to where that you um, were watching the president's speech on TV, and uh, it's like, yeah, that, uh, you know, and then um, this president is going to start talking about uh, a president who was in office from before. So I don't really remember, you know, of course, that was before my time whenever Jimmy Carter was president. So if anybody were warned to her that you have these uh, past presidents that want to talk about, you know, you know previous presidents, about the history of, of the presidents. And uh, you're likely thinking as to her that with, you know, Ronald Reagan and... Uh, and if it's going to be, uh, you know, um, you know, yeah, that, you know, so far, you know, if it's Kennedy and then, you know, the vice presidents also, I'm like, uh, we want to do this toward it that, you know, the vice presidents, quite a few of the vice presidents are going to be like while they're in office and some of them are just going to be kind of like what you call off to the side that, that they're just what you call like a, 
like a backup you know, president and uh so yeah that that uh, you know it's all about his understanding about the, about these presidents but um but talk about for the vice presidents and um uh, so you're just like thinking as to where that uh, whenever I was reading about the, the vice presidents, though, it was almost like as to where that, okay, vice presidents, that those are the, the commander in chiefs that are basically that they are there, but, you know, they're not really, you know, yeah, to, if they're there really to fulfill the position to where that, you know, yeah, the president is on vacation while the vice president is there at the White House. But I don't think that that's really the case. <laughs> so if anybody wanted to word it, uh, you know, yeah, that while the president, you know, maybe while the president is on vacation, uh, that, that the vice president is there at the White House, you know, taking care of stuff and um, necessarily thinking as to where that uh, you're talking to the American people uh, and uh, want to know about, okay, uh, you know, if those who are not registered voters, what's taking you so long? Because you should have been registered in like... <laughs> But, you know, really, that, um, since I was 16, though, that, uh, I have registered, and, uh, and just think about this, you know, about President's Day, though, that whenever I use, you know, if I can remember right, I watched Bill Clinton, yeah, President Clinton on TV those couple of times, and if he was telling everybody, you know, yeah, that, uh, making a speech to the American people to go out and go vote or something, and so, you know, whenever a president that comes on TV, uh, or maybe on the radio, it basically means that they're talking to, you know, anybody who's listening. But I do one or two that, uh, half the time, it's like the president doesn't really make a speech really quickly, such as that, you know, you must be 18 or older, you know, to, to register, or, you know, yeah, that, uh, you must have a an accurate, you know, yeah, driver's license, and <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, that, you know, back whenever you were only about maybe 11 years old, that you were just thinking too necessarily to where, that, okay, uh, driver's license, okay, uh, you know, it is, <laughs> so, yeah, I, um, and, and I know that, you know, questions that, uh, that you would be asked to, and sometimes you're like wondering to where I don't understand what you're asking me, uh, you know, that, that sort of situation, but, but let's just say the point goes by as to where that um, one of the um, one of the difficulties I had during the time was uh, understanding about you know yeah maybe a little bit of an account and as well as the credit card but but let's just say let's just say if I was sitting on the floor right here you know after playing a video game and I know the way I drew this TV right here is like one of the, the newer store you know the, the newer HD style you know, type televisions but then uh, besides uh, those old uh, the, those those older model television sets and uh, watching the president on TV and let's just say after about maybe an hour playing a video game and then uh, you know, you turn the t you turn the game off and then you see that the president on TV uh, and uh, he starts talking about uh, you know, about, you know, health insurance or maybe about children's education. And it could also maybe be about a war that's going on or maybe a bill that they're trying to pass or something like that. So whenever I watch these president's speeches, that sometimes, though, that uh, that kind of gives me an idea. I'm like, yeah, about, the, you know, for what president that gives the other president, the former president's credit for while they were in office, while this president was in office, to give them credit for their, for their work that they did. But sometimes... That um, this president is going to start criticizing it, um, and yeah, that you're going to maybe have some Republicans that are going to be like, uh, you know, whenever Jimmy Carter was president, he promised a lot of change, and like, but but still, that um, sometimes though, it seems like you know, uh, oh yeah, you know, Jimmy Carter. I'm like, yeah, it's it seems like the question kind of goes by as to where the, with these former presidents that. Whenever that they're elected our president, that that uh, these are the changes that they said they were going to make, and uh, out of those changes, it could also be as to where that they promised to lower taxes. That ain't going to happen because that's you know from the past you know 15 years or so where we've had presidents that said that they were going to lower taxes and that make uh, you know. The child care or you know like uh, daycare expenses more affordable or something or you know maybe a, a cost of automobile industry and maybe job growth about jobs and as well as our national security and i i do one or two that why is it that quite a few presidents that don't mention about the use of the internet nowadays i i was 
And I was, whenever I watched the State of the Union address, I was kind of wanting to know about what the president had to say about making sure our American people were safe on the internet. But I didn't hear no mention about that. If anything, it was about vocational school or something. But, um, but I tell you one thing, though, that um, whenever we file our taxes for this year, you know, for 2017, that uh, I do one or two is to where that, um, you know, for any of us who do have jobs to where we got to, if it's uh, children that we got to take care of and maybe, uh, you know, who have loans they're trying to pay off or maybe credit cards uh, and maybe trying to get mortgages to, taken care of and squared away, you know, anything like that. But I do one or two is to where that, that you know, whenever you, uh, yeah, if we can place a vote on all that stuff, you know, at the time that uh, you want or two is to where that, you know, is anybody going to get mad at you if you vote against uh, a bill that for Proposition B, uh, you know, one of those votes is going to maybe be about is to where to, uh, to lower taxes uh, for the products such as is to where for automobile industries and you know, just to be able to improve uh, that the heating sources and maybe for satellite images or maybe for the use of Google Earth or something like that. So, yeah, that... Um, some of the questions whenever I go vote, some of the questions that I remember that were asked is toward that do you think that they should uh, that they should charge the American? Do you think that they should raise our taxes for? And then sometimes though I kept thinking as to where that why are you asking me for? I don't make the rules, but I guess uh, yeah. Whenever you go out and vote, I guess you basically uh, you know, you are speaking up for you know what uh, for the amount of votes that are counted and. Uh, and I was also thinking, saying to you from the previous post to talk about how many of these presidents have a college degree. You know, how many of these presidents have a college degree? And uh, and let's just say if maybe if uh, if some of them, you know, only have, uh, you know, an associate's degree. You know, I'm like, uh, you know, President Reagan. I'm like, uh, you know, some of these former presidents that maybe not all of them have a college degree. And some parents out there that might say, I don't have a college degree. I don't know why my uh, my children want to get a college degree because it's not required to be hired for a certain job, but still though that um, my uh, you know uh, and I know I answered this a, a couple of times, but I don't know if anybody according to their understanding that they gotten other source of, of feedbacks, but uh, but my reason of course is is that you for you for a higher level of education because I know it based on from my previous years of my education uh, that you know uh, you know if you had to retake a, a class or maybe if you had a you know the similar maybe some work that was you know easier but then you want to take a course because it was harder you want to learn something whenever it got harder so yeah that uh, you know, having a college degree takes you on a new level and I guess it seems like to where that uh, you know how else can I really explain that other than it takes you on a new level and that level is going to be harder and and challenging and uh, there are going to be some presidents uh, going to maybe say the first thing they're going to say is to where I don't have a college degree and the college degree is not required and we might say that our children can make their own decisions about where they want to take their education as long as they're handling it as best they can but how many of our U.S. presidents have a college degree? And I can maybe tell the presidents too that, Mr. President, you know, I I've checked all the jobs, all the job ads, and uh, there's a lot of them. If you don't have the right degree, then in that, then you are basically in a in that situation to where that you need to continue your education. And I know a lot of these jobs, a lot of these jobs nowadays. You're coming up within the next two years from now. A lot of these jobs nowadays are going to ask for a so good source of education. What level uh, of your education is it? Is it you'll be fourth or fifth level? And I guess if that means is to where you're right above a bachelor's or above close to a master's degree. So you have these presidents that might say something about that to where that most of our children... They can make their own decisions, but, you know, yeah, that, uh, just think as to her, that, uh, you know, maybe not everybody is going to have a college degree, but let's just say, though, that, uh, you know, if we were to place a vote about knowing about what that degree should be affordable, about the cost of the books, how many of us will maybe agree as to where that the cost of the books is too expensive, Mr. President, in order to be able to read and understand, just to be able to get a good IQ score, 
that the books are too expensive. And what about student vouchers? You know, a lot of things that our former presidents have mentioned before, and you know, when we think about presidents, they that are we going to maybe be thinking about is to where that you know, to remember all of them, and then also to be thinking about is to where that uh, with our future though is to where that you know whenever we're talking about the United States of America though. That whenever I uh, watch these presidents, that sometimes, though, that uh, if anybody were to say that, you know, you got a test that's due on, a, you got a test that you got to take on Monday, and you can't be up late on Sunday night. So let's just say, you know, yeah, the State Union address, you know, usually between a Monday and Tuesdays about each year that those come on, but but just think about whenever the president's going to be on, and uh, you likely say is to where to show some respect and just to kind of listen to what they got to say. And, uh, you know, yeah, you know, even if it's a uh, secretary of the treasury or if it's a you know, secretary of state or if it's a, the chair or I'm like, yeah, anybody who's speaking, you know, at the White House or where or somewhere that then start talking to you about something, you know, yeah, emails, especially I can tell anybody here emails, especially, you know, if I'm if I'm uh, on my computer trying to read an email that's very important and let's just say if I get interrupted about you know the president's speech you know the president has announced to the American people about something important you know that you need to read about and maybe if it is related to our taxes you know that we could be overpaying you know for health insurance or something like that and you know something that's uh, that all the American people need to pay attention about but um, really that uh, how many of us have really gotten into that advertisement to where that, uh, you know, you had to upgrade to a new television set or something like that, you know? <laughs> you all you're all American people. You are the American children. Uh, all American families. You know, I'm just letting you know that, you know, if you are not, if you're watching me on a, on a new, uh, you, know, you know, you need to upgrade to a new television set or something like that. You know, yeah, that, uh... <laughs> So you're likely thinking this tour that the, you know it's things that are recommended and things that are required, but but still that you talk about with President State that um, that whenever the president comes on TV uh, uh, a couple of times and uh, I'm like yeah that that whenever Bill Clinton was president you know yeah he made all the kids go to school on a Saturday you know just that one day and uh, you're likely thinking this tour that you know did you like. You respect the president for that, or you know the fact about that. You know, whenever you have a president on TV, do you want to kind of say "boo"? Well, I didn't want to hear that, or you know, exactly. Spring break. Did, did I? You know, if I can remember right, I don't recall one time to where I heard the president saying is to where that the kids aren't getting a, a one a full week uh, spring break. You know, they're only getting maybe a four day spring break or something or you know whichever it is and uh but but still though that, that let's just say that the case was is to where that um you know president's decisions i guess if they make all the decisions or whenever they come on tv uh, that it just seems like as to where that you you want to kind of ask yourself that question to where that uh, you know uh, yeah that you know you uh if you had to go to a job interview at a certain time, or maybe if you're in a meeting, if you're in a meeting, that why should you uh, take uh, you know so much, uh, you know, ten or fifteen minutes of your time just to watch the president talk? And uh, he might ask as to where to get the pre you know, get the American people's attention. The president's going to come on the radio, and he's going to be announced on our phones, and he's going to be uh, announced, you know, even in the newspaper. And uh, so you're likely thinking this toward that you know maybe you, know, you may not be able to remember all these presidents, but sometimes though that I also keep thinking too that um, with the president whenever the whenever the president's gonna come on TV uh, that sometimes I also keep thinking too is to where should I pay attention to that because if you got a test that's coming up you know shortly or it's something about you know that you gotta work you got to take care of something else that's important but but i also keep thinking too that you know thinking about you know, for the you know presence that uh nowadays is to where thinking about our country especially and uh if it's president of a of a company that uh, with these presidents you know if it's a history project especially that even though if the presidents are going to interrupt your program and maybe that, that there's a situation that comes up to where 
that, that you know if you are dismissed from having to take a test you know the finals worker coming is coming up yeah the you know finals are coming up very shortly but then now the president is is telling you know, the american people that that you know, please uh, read this message you know there's a, there's an important update about our tax reforms that you know, that needs to be corrected and so sometimes though we might be aggravated too that uh something that comes up maybe with congress that we that you know the american people those who are registered voters if you got to pause what you're doing you know, just to take care of something and um uh, so yeah that uh you know you you got a lot of important tasks that you got to take care of but let's just say though that the president comes on tv and tells you know the american people though but still that uh you know yeah that uh, you know the day uh, you had to lead the party you know yeah if you were at a dance party maybe on a saturday afternoon that you were at the dance party and the president told all the american people that uh you know yeah it's important that you read this email so back when I was in school, back whenever Clinton was president, that yeah, I thought that was pretty neat to just look at all those emails. And you know, I was getting you know even from the White House, but <laughs> you're also thinking too as to where that Mr. President, you know, are you going to, you know, yeah, are you going to fail me just because that I I'm not doing very well on the test? I'm like, so yeah, that it seems like you know I I feel like asking the you know the president that. As to where, how many times am I allowed to fail just to be called a loser or whichever you call it? Or, you know, maybe maybe if it's anything about his tour that, you know, for like President's Day, that, that you okay, President's Day, that, uh, you know, Mr. President, that, uh, you know, how many times am I allowed to fail before that, you know, we're going by the next step? You know, the next step is going to maybe be his tour that, that, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to go to the party, even though if I got an invitation or something like that, but... But still, we're we're allowed to have fun when we when we can. But but still, though, that uh, with these presidents, though, that they got a big job that they got you know take care of. And uh, just think about you know, no matter if, if you're married with a big family or if you're single. And half the time, you're like wanting to, you know, Mr. President, what do you have to say about the, about the single? You know, the single ladies and the single men, and to where they're thinking is to where that things that they got to take care of as well. He or she's got to take care of. But you have right here is this me right here in front of the television set. And um, and yeah, that um, whenever the president's going to be on TV, uh, that I heard that too about your President Jimmy Carter. You know, Jimmy Carter, you know, the, those presidents who uh, some of them that did the best they could while they were in office. You know, some of them uh, that may have said that, you know, that I promised to... Uh, you know, to create jobs and then improve our infrastructures and uh, you know job creations as well as lower our taxes, and uh, that may not have been Jimmy Carter. That could have maybe been George H. W. Bush, and uh, you know that there's other presidents that uh, promised certain things, but still, that um, I'm like, yeah, you know, Jimmy Carter. You know, as you might say that, yeah, he was before my time. But uh, I tell you one thing, though, that uh, reading about these presidents. That some of them, uh, you know, that, yeah, you know, they lost the election from back during the time of their term, you know, for re-election. But then on your hand, it's like, you know, yeah, you know, these presidents, some of them that do the best they can while they're in office. And some of them uh, that, you know, yeah, that, that maybe that uh, things that didn't work out very well. But still, the main focus, I guess, is really about for the American people is to where that, um, you know, sometimes... You know, no matter if you win or lose, you know, you are still, you know, an American citizen. And, you know, even though if you do lose. and um, So, I guess, what's the best ways of how to handle that to where President's Day, you know, President's Day, that the presidents who uh, only uh, served, you know, for one term, you know, the presidents uh, who were not able to do all what they could while they were in office. And uh, you just think it is too, is to where... That, you know, does that always make them a bad president? You know, not really. I'm like, it just, you know, that they did the best that, you know, that president did what they could, you know, while while they were on the job, you know, while they were in office. And uh, so that's just a thing about this tour. Whenever we think about the United States of America, that, uh, you know, I think is to whenever you go to school, you know, you know, most, you know, every morning uh, you say the Pledge of Allegiance. And um, you're also thinking, too, is to where... Um, that, you know, uh, what's the best answer to what to give to our children? And that's uh, something to think about, you know, about the president. That, uh, you know, hey, that, you know, uh, 
You may feel, but I'm like, yeah, you just because you fail, and half the time, if anybody say that, uh, why does that sound so much like somebody saying that you're fired? You know, you're fired. You know, that they want to look at it as like a tease. But, uh, but like for President's Day, though, that, uh, you know, for 2020, though, that uh, you're for by, in two years from now, that uh, you have right here is for President Ronald Reagan. I was also thinking I have right here is the pocket. You know, as they say, there's something in Ronald Reagan's pocket. And then the, you have right here the variety of colors. But I, I want to mention that, you know, if anybody would say that, you know, like a little... Maybe a 11-year-old girl is going to maybe ask me think as to where, why do you think that, that, that purple is not in the American flag? <laughs> but you have right here is like, yeah, you President Trump maybe on a, on a dollar coin or something. But, uh, but you know, for President's Day, though, that um, the important topics to, to, to talk about you know, with our kids, though, is to where a job interview that didn't go very well, and you can always say that, well, sorry... Sorry to hear about that, and I guess that's really the best you can say is to where if they just because you fail on a test, you know, hey, that that that's that you know, that happens, you know, that that don't mean that you didn't study hard and you know, you just gotta keep working on it. But um, I guess the best encouragement that we can give to anybody would be is to where you know, sorry to hear about that. Well, you know, you you just uh, you know, keep working on it, and um, you know, I'm sure you'll have great progress you the next time, but. Um, but far as presidents go, you know, our future presidents, if you are not a registered voter, and if you're old enough, and and if anybody were one or two were that, you know, you can vote, you know, whenever you do place a vote, and you're just thinking, too, is to where that whenever you watch the TV, that uh, sometimes you also to keep thinking, too, is to where those candidates that you did not vote for, you know, the ones that lost the election, and the ones that you did vote for, and like, you know, Barack Obama, and as well as, you know, you hear about your know, George W. Bush and as well Bill Clinton. That uh, you have these presidents that uh, you go vote for them, and and let's just say if there's somebody, if there's a candidate that did not win, and uh, you're also thinking too. But um, but still, watching the president on TV though, and uh, whenever you watch the president's speech, it seems like to where you know he's got your full attention for the most part. But then on your hand too, it seems like as to where that what is he asking for you all for all of us to do necessarily, you know his speech could be broadcast within a, a hundreds of miles away, you know in thousands of miles away, you even to, to our troops, and it seems like to where that whenever he talks, that maybe he's trying to get all of our attention and uh, and let's just say that if anybody were to say that you take notes of the president's speech while you were watching the president's speech, that you go ahead and write down any notes of some kind, keep on note about, you know, yeah, this is what I want all the American people to do, listen up, okay, you study hard for the test, okay, and, uh, you know, yeah, you, you do well in class, and, uh, you know, uh, and so far as taxes, you better pay your taxes, even if it's for a candy bar, you know, yeah, <laughs> So I'm sure most of us, yeah, President's Day, and you're like, say, President's Day, say, Elizabeth, you know, still. But, you know, anyway, but, uh, you know, thanks for watching, everyone, and, uh, you know, yeah, a lot, you know, a lot to talk about, of course, but, you know, talking about for, for President's Day of 2020, and you have right here is for Ronald Reagan, and uh, knowing about you know, for the United States of America. Thanks for watching, God bless, and God bless the United States of America, and, uh, and thanks, and have a great day, everyone.